Welcome to an Eternium video which will be ANB Gold 7 Part 5. Uh, so today's video is going to have been recorded over three or four days um, purely because all I'm doing for the next two hours on the game clock is experience farming. Um, so there's not really anything to show you as we do that. Um, something that I forgot to mention on the last video, I've made some changes to the character um, and then all I did was show you that I'd changed the build with Fleet Footed to uh, Glass Cannon. Um, what I have done to help Trial 90 go quicker is the Regalia Helm, I have added a 10% fire damage so my shatters will be slightly more impactful and that uh, Death From Above on Kara is going to hit her a bit harder as well. Um, the other thing is that I am not creating any push jewellery at all in this AMB so what we have these ephemerals that I created for experience farming those are going to stay on the character um, it means I'm going to be missing out on 675 power um, given that the push aims are only around trial 140 to 145 max if I can even be bothered to go that far um, 675 power shouldn't be a problem being lacking in the build um, I think that would only become more apparent trial 150 plus um, but I did, because I'm keeping this jewellery for the rest of the event, um, on the necklace I've added a 100 power enchant, and on this ring a 100 power enchant as well. Now the ring enchants require uh, a whole load of these radiant rubies, 20 of them. Um, so I can't enchant the other ring just yet although since I might need some brilliant rubies later on there is a chance that I'll convert some topaz to rubies and create the enchant that way but that is for later I'm not too bothered about that right now it's a case of we won champion level 1248 let's get that somewhere between 16 1700 maybe even 1800 if we're lucky and try and get some skills upgraded um, these will all be level 10 before i finish today's session because i'm playing for 30 minutes um, i might take celerity up to level 10 I'm undecided yet but once these are at level 10 what I'm going to do is upgrade some of these level 4 skills to level 5 and the 5s to 6s just so we can push the synergy along um, 130 gives us plus 6 attack speed I think it's around 150 when it goes next um, whether we reach synergy 170 with the maximum attack speed bonus is another question altogether um, if i was to run trial 80 only then yes it probably would make it to there um, i'm going to run 90 for a bit if that feels too slow i might drop back to 80 but for now i'm going to complete the way that i store legendaries down here so these runs here will complete a batch of 10 trolls at which point i salvage everything and then depending on how long it takes to finish those runs I'll determine whether I carry on at 90 or drop back to 80 I still also need to consider what my champion level is looking like so with that introduction done I am going to stop recording now and we shall pick up either later today or tomorrow or the day after um, but I shall see you again in the future 
Just a quick update, I'm at champion level 1302, I'm running trial 80 at the moment just for materials and books of learning. Um, the three passives that I'm running are now level 10. Uh, I accidentally forgot to upgrade this skill from 4 to 5, so when these are done I'm going to do that on its own from 4 to 5 and then I can put two fives in with a six because everything will be a multiple of three hours thereafter so I don't mind having things slightly out of sync at that stage um, but what I want to do at the moment is add the second plus 100 power to my other ring now that requires 20 radiant rubies which I don't have and as far as crafting goes I think the only way that I can get to 20 for those from this position is to take these four brilliant topaz combine those to create two brilliant rubies shatter those which will give me six trillion and shatter those to get 18 um, of these radiants We'll give that a try and see if that works. And if I'm doing this wrong, shout at me in the comments. Um, so it'll be on transmute. I'm going to combine gemstones. So the result is I want brilliant rubies. I want two of those. And the ingredient that's going to go in is topaz. We've got the four that we need. So if I do that, That always puts you off because it shows what looks like a diamond but it said it was ruby so we've got two of those now um, so back in our crafting menu if we shatter brilliant and I want trillion ruby and let's say six of those And then if I shatter those, I don't need to shatter all of them actually, we need 12 maximum. Um, and radiant rubies. If I shatter those, that should now give me, if I stick them in there, I've still got two of these now. So that gives me 22 of those. So I can now, on the enchanting greater enchantments ring, go for rage, which requires 20 radiant rubies. Uh, let's get our silver dust, our primal spirits, our haunting spirits, and replenish the dust and craft that. And that gives us plus 100 power, which can go on this ring. So we've got plus 100, plus 100, and plus 100 there. So that's how that's done. I don't think there's any other way of combining lower tier uh, gemstones. If I'm wrong, point it out in the comments below. Otherwise, that's how it's done. Going to finish today's video with just a brief update on where we are with just over three hours left. So we're almost at the halfway point. Um, although, it's the wrong one, uh, two days, 17 hours. So I'm going to have to get a bit of a wiggle on over the next few days. So Friday, I will finish exp farming um, so the next video will start with me showing final position on champion levels from exp farming um, and i will craft the push gear at that stage and how much of that i show as well um, it's already been explained in the second video in this series so the finishing the first hour 
I'm just following that same process of monitoring the crafts to try and target good things as and when I think they're going to pop out. Um, so almost at the halfway stage, uh, champion level 1529. Um, hopefully we'll get that somewhere around 1800. I am farming trial 90 now, um, consistently under a under a minute for each run. I think I've just run. Um, how much did I do? 15 minutes, 20 minutes today, somewhere around there. Um, I think I did about 20 runs. All of them were under a minute. The fastest was 46 seconds, but that was pure luck in that um, as I cast Death from Above to finish off the mobs, the Shatter proc from that spawned Kara and she spawned directly in the line of Death from Above and at the exact same moment Slayer and Talisman of Power propped. So she took an incredibly hard hit straight away as soon as she spawned and as soon as I landed um, the thermal shock killed her so she was there for a couple of seconds. Um, but typically they're around 53 to 55 seconds and the slow runs about 59. So that's good. Um, materials side coming along nicely at the moment. Um, I'm still aiming for four to five hundred. That isn't enough for a hundred plus crafts. Um, ideally, I would have seven hundred air and about a thousand shadows, but we're not going to get to those. Um, never do and I've got plenty of others to, to convert up uh, what, 173 greater essences out of those there's 200 there so and this and these can be converted into essences if I need them here as well so I'm not worried on that front again we've probably got enough marker titans but that's going to go up over 300 which is enough for 100 crafts um, on the skills front everything is at least level 8 these have all been done with books of learning so no gems at all for upgrading these skills I've decided that I'm going to put everything to level 9 that will take me up to synergy 169 and then I'm going to do celerity, fleet footed and intense training up to 10. That will get us to 172 synergy, which is nice because at 170 we get our maximum attack speed bonus at 8%. So if I was to do that right now, it's going to take 48 runs of troll 90. So 12 to get these from 8 to 9. 12 to get Singularity, Fleet Footed and Mage Armor up to 9 and then 24 to get Celerity, Fleet Footed and Intense Training up to 10. Um, but I'm going to be sleeping so this clock's going to run down and I'm going to need far fewer runs than those. Um, getting I think it's a little over six champion levels per run at the moment that is going to be continuously dropping um, but with almost 76 minutes of farming here we're going to be doing over 80 troll 90s in that time so that's going to be good I completely lost my train of thought um, so our damage looking nice power that's constantly going up um, although it says 5.6 if I was to go into the training grounds that'd be on 5.5 the next break point for me is 5.75 and then 6 so um, not too worried about haste anything going into there 
Uh, when it comes to push and crafting push gear, I'm looking at probably four, maximum five pieces will have life on hit added to them. Um, base life on hits 1180. Um, I like about 2700 to 3000. So um, once I've crafted four, I'll see where life on hits sitting and then decide whether a fifth piece needs it or not. Um, if it doesn't, all the other pieces rather than life on hit will have vitality as the last stat. They're going to have ability rate haste then there'll be power although on trinkets that will be frost damage and on boots and pants that will be movement speed um, i never put armor as a stat on gear purely because we get 200 armor from a brilliant diamond and we only get 50 vitality from a brilliant emerald so i would rather craft with um, vitality because i'm going to get far more vitality putting it on as a stat and then sock it in diamonds than if i put on armor and tried to sock it in with um, vitality so i'll probably explain that much better in the next video um, I don't think there's anything that I've forgotten. Um, I think once that crafting is done, as far as push goes on Saturday, how much of that I recalled, uh, I'm undecided. I will definitely show getting to 1.30 and then thereafter, given that the controls are pretty awkward and I play pretty badly when I'm yapping over the top of the video um, I might cut it there and maybe drop in the highest troll that I bother clearing um, that's all to decide in the future but that's where we are at 2 hours 59 gone just over three hours to go so halfway there and achieved a lot already but any questions or comments please put them down below and as always i'll answer you there and thank you for watching